What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, that dude, Belsky, here, giving you another episode of Sonic the Hedgehog 1, where we're at Marble Zone 1, uh, which is like one of the slowest levels in uh, in this game. Because uh, it's crazy, because like, you go from the first stage being, you know, fast, kind of moving, moving fast, speed, light, all the other good stuff like that, and then you come to marble zone which is like just so slow and i think they could have they would have did perfectly fine if they didn't have this stage well just yeah well i guess just have this stage you know being as slow as it is you know have it in the game now one thing i can't say about this um about this level though is that the music's catching to me anyway you know what i'm saying so um so that was definitely plus i actually i i call myself a couple times you know uh doing uh when i used to play through it i used to sing the i used to sing this song um even when i was at work i'd be singing this song it's crazy you would be like dude what are you singing i'm like marble zone stupid what, what are you what? <laughs> i don't even know you right now like like do you not know this song like what's wrong with you you know what i'm saying but but i don't know but like i said i mean uh it, it, i mean it's slow you know oh that was stupid oh my gosh but anyhow uh, it like I said, it's a slow level, but you know, but the, I don't know, it's still fun nonetheless. Like I said, I, I think they could have did without this level, but hey, you know, it is what it is. Can't change the past. Push forward towards the future. Now I would like to, you know, what I'm saying, uh, actually go a little bit off topic, which I probably do with a lot of my videos. You know, uh, if any of y'all watch NFL football. You know that you're very familiar with. You're probably really familiar with what I'm about to talk about with the New York Jets doing with Tim Tebow. Now, you know, I'm not Tim. I'm not a big T Tim Tebow fan, uh, being that you know he was in the SEC, which my team LSU is, and he gave them like always a run for their money, and he sometimes beat them, and it kind of pissed me off. And I actually kind of wish Tim Tebow would die on the football field because he kept beating my team, and it was really irritating the hell out of me. But that's not neither here nor there, because he's not in college anymore. He's in the pros now. Now I understand that he's not the greatest quarterback. You know, he has a throwing problem, or whatever like that. But he took his team. He took his team to the playoffs. He took his team when he was in Denver to the playoffs. You can't deny that he beat the Pittsburgh Steelers. You can't deny that. You know. Yeah, you trade him to get Peyton Manning. I'm not knocking Denver for that, but you know, you send him to the Jets. He's a second string quarterback, Mark Sanchez. You know, Mark Sanchez is sucking wind right now. So instead of putting Tim Tebow in, which is a second string quarterback, you put in Greg McElroy, also SEC from Alabama. Now, am I hating on McElroy? No. Because, I mean, you know, if they're going to give you the chance, then you do what you got to do. But for you to bring Tebow in and you don't play him, like, that's like a real slap in the face. Granted, everybody can say whatever they want to say about, you know, oh, he, you know, he's not good of a quarterback, this, that, and the third, but it doesn't matter. He's second string. You let him prove himself. And then if he's wrong... If he if he's garbage, then you rightfully go to your next quarterback. You go to you go to McElroy. You know, do him. But you don't bring him in just to like sit him for the rest of the season when Mark Sanchez is playing like garbage and then you still haven't let him prove himself, but you put in Greg McElroy without letting Tim Tebow prove himself to you that he's actually a good and quality quarterback. I think it's stupid. And that's why I'm glad that Jess poo poo right now. So suck on that one you know honestly i kind of and, and on the other hand i kind of feel at fault with tim tebow well i, I think tim tebow's at fault as, as well because of the fact that he went in there knowing that he wasn't going to be the full he wasn't going to be a starter of the jets that mar sanchez was and he could have went to jacksonville which is his hometown where he could have went and played you know what i'm saying like i mean he he would have been guaranteed starting you know what I'm saying? So it's like, I mean, it's, 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 they're both, both the Jets are at fault, both Tennessee Bills are at fault. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Now, 
you know, to the people that are watching this that are football fans, you know, I know you're going to probably thrash me like, man, Tebow's garbage, blah, 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 blah. But you got to give the man a chance. You got to. He's second stream for a reason. They had to have seen something. You know what I'm saying? So you got to give the man a chance. Now, like I said, if he's garbage and he's throwing like 20 interceptions like Mark Sanchez is, I'm okay. I'll shut my mouth and I'll keep it moving. But you just don't sit Tim Tebow and put in Greg McElroy. And then on top of that, you put in Greg McElroy. You may, Greg McElroy gets concussion. And then you put in, you put Mark Sanchez back in. That makes no sense whatsoever. Why would you do that? I mean, you're... What, what, what's wrong with you? Like, real talk. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't even know you. I don't, even, I don't even understand what's going on here. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like, uh, you know, it, I, like words can't even explain. Like, you put in, you put in, you bench Sanchez, put in McAvoy. McAvoy gets concussion. You put Sanchez back in. You just swap over Tebow. Like, what beef do you have with this man? Like. I don't know. I don't understand. Like, I mean, maybe I'm retarded or something. Maybe I'm missing something. Maybe, maybe I'm just going bad for bad. And I'm just, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. All right. I don't know. But, you know, that was my little gripe about that. If you feel any different, you know, uh, if you, if you have any, you know, if you want to talk about it, put it in the comments below how you feel. Let me know how you feel. You know what I'm saying? Like, how you feeling right now about what I just said? Because honestly, you know what I'm saying? That's how I feel. That's where I'm going with it. Jump. Just jump. That's what I say. But anyhow. Enough rant about that. That's what I'm playing right now. Jumping through stuff. Making sure spikes don't hit me. Throw on the blue motherfucker hit you And I almost missed my ring, but that's all right, because I got in there. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Now, I'm not going to lie. When I first started playing, uh, when I first played Sonic, and I saw this, I was like, what in the world is this? Like, I don't understand what's going on. Like, I'm tripping. I'm seeing birds in the sky that's not flapping their wings. I'm like... Am I high right now? Like, I don't, I don't understand what I'm looking at here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, uh, and I got my continue. Yeah. But anyhow, uh, it's just when I first saw, I was like, you know, I didn't, I didn't understand what I was looking at. I was like completely lost. I was like, it's just so many different colors and so many different like birds and, and fishes. Like, why would fishes be in the sky? Why would birds be in the sky without flapping their wings? Why is the world spinning upside down? Why am I in a in a in a spin bar? Why am I not? You know, I don't understand. You know, so confused. But uh, but yeah, 